Welcome. Today we're going to go over calibrating a high flow splitter manifold using a Gill Air Plus pump and our GoCal Pro calibrator. This serves applications such as welding operations where a metals panel and a hexavalent chromium may both be required to be sampled simultaneously. Another scenario would include simultaneously sampling both a particulate sample as well as a sorbent tube. Sensodyne is unique in our ability to perform this type of sampling using our Gill Air Plus pump in high flow constant pressure mode. We will be demonstrating two different setups today. One with a two filter cassette setup and another using one filter cassette and one charcoal sorbent tube. Both of these setups utilize our high flow split manifold system. As you can see, the system has a horizontal metal section with a barb on the bottom which connects the tubing to the air sampling pump. On the other side of the vertical section, we have a cap. The cap can be unscrewed and removed. Underneath the cap, we have these set screws. Now these set screws can be adjusted clockwise to decrease the flow and counterclockwise to increase the flow. On the bottom side of the cassettes, there will be another lure fitting that will actually attach the tubing to the calibrator. Please note that to calibrate each one of the samples, you will have to connect the calibrator independently of one another. Today we'll be using the Gillian GoCal Pro standard flow range flow meter. Now that I've reviewed the equipment, let's get started with the setup. Power on your Gill Air Plus. Use the down arrow to scroll the cursor down to control mode. Once on control mode, use the plus, air, the plus key to scroll up to CPH, which stands for constant pressure high. Hit the enter key to save that setting. Now you're ready to sample in constant pressure mode, which puts the pump at a default 18 inches of water of constant pressure. The pump will maintain this pressure throughout the sampling event. Now we will set up the sampling train. This will consist of the tubing connected to the manifold splitter. Next, we will connect the media to the intake side of the manifold. We'll be using a 5 micron PVC filter, typically utilized for welding fume sampling, as well as a 0.8 micron MCE filter, utilized for sampling hexavalent chromium. Once the red and blue caps are removed, attach the top of the filter cassette to the manifold. Please note that the top of the cassette has these grooved notches inside that looks like a boat steering wheel. Next, we'll connect our sampling train up to our Gill Air Plus sampling pump. Here we have the Gillian GoCal Pro calibrator. Make sure you're using the correct flow range for the sampling that you're going to be setting your flow rate for. We're going to be calibrating each one of the media independently of the other. So we'll need to connect the tubing from the GoCal Pro to the inlet side of our filter cassette media. Now we will turn on our Gill Air Plus pump in constant pressure high mode. We'll hit the enter key to start the flow running. We will then remove the caps on the tops of the manifold arms as demonstrated. Let's put these off to the side until we finish calibrating the media, at which time we will replace the caps to prevent any changes to the desired flow rates. Now let's take a quick look at our calibrator's live readings. This will give us an indication as to the flow rate that the filter cassette is being pulled through. We can turn and make adjustments to the set screw, turning it clockwise to decrease the flow, and counterclockwise to increase the flow. We can make very small adjustments to that set screw to fine tune it to our desired flow rate. Once we get to that desired flow rate, we can disconnect the tubing from the filter and we can move it onto the second and opposite side of the manifold. Once again, we look at our live flow readings on our flow meter and we can make those fine or rough adjustments to get it close to our desired flow rate.
Once you achieve a stable reading close to your desired flow rate, now we can verify our flow rate using our GoCal Pro by hitting the play button. This will take an average of a five second sample range showing here at 1,997, which is well within 1% of our target 2,000 flow rate. Now that we've verified the flow rate on this second cassette, we're basically going to disconnect the tubing and connect it back to the first cassette. You want to do it in this order because once you made the adjustments to the second one and got it to where you want, the first one may be out of adjustment slightly. So we're going to connect that back up and you can see our flow rate is at 2800 and we wanted to bring that to 3 liters so we're just going to fine tune that one slightly up and now that we've got it to where we want again we'll take a sample and our average was within well within 1% of our target flow rate of 3 liters per minute now that we've completed the calibration for both filter cassettes, we can disconnect the tube into the calibrator and replace the tamper caps on both sides of the manifold. This will prevent the flow from being adjusted by the worker throughout the sampling event. You can now shut off the pump until you're ready to collect your sample. As an alternative to the two cassette setup, we can also set it up with a sorbent tube and sorbent tube holder. You would connect the sorbent tube holder to the inlet side of the manifold. And again, you would follow the same instructions. You would calibrate the first cassette to your flow rate first, and then you would move over to the second media, in which case we have the charcoal filter, and you would connect your flow meter sample train up to that. Again, you will make the adjustments to each side by turning the set screw and adjusting it to the proper flow rate. We've now completed the calibration process for the high flow splitter. Feel free to reach out to us with any questions and visit us on our website at sensodyne.com or our Sensodyne YouTube page for additional helpful videos.